Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with the one and only, the fabulous, the highly intellectual Culex. Uh, it's just Culex. Look, take the damn compliment. Alright, um. And. Continuing on with, um. My 500 subscriber special, we have. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sneaking. <laughs> yeah, I did this whole scene. This is the opening, but with redone audio with the uh, the Jason Voorhees theme. Because, uh, yeah, it's yeah, j just j just um, an undead mascot. Nothing in your bushes. Nothing creepy here. No, not undead. He's a construct. He's a golem of some sort. Those. Well, he's totally got a phylactery right around his neck there. But those soulless eyes. Look at the just look at them. Look at the soulless look at them. As he pops up. Um, so yeah, I've redid that open this is the real opening. It's just the same. Cause I was stupid and forgot to actually mute the audio and not just leave it with the uh the Jason Voorhees scene. But anyway, uh we have Sneak King for the Xbox three sixty slash Xbox slash um whatever else. And this is the creepiest concept to a game ever. Like this is the best Worst game ever made. Um, like, you sneak around Metal Gear Solid style, but instead of killing people, you give them delicious sandwiches. Uh, reverse pickpocketing. Yes. Uh, it's like Fallout, but instead of being a vault boy, you're um, whatever the hell that thing is. So I take it like there there's bosses for this game and no the the boss for level one is the Baconator the Bacon and the end game boss is Big Mac yes you have to beat uh you have to beat all of the others uh I I I don't know would the Baconator really be Wendy's flagship sandwich well it, it it's the most boss sounding one it it is the most boss I mean. It, it is a sandwich it's that the will give you. That's come back in time to kill you, <laughs> or at least run you out of business. Uh, I really should have cut the the loading times for this because this loading screen's taking forever. Um, for some odd reason, you start in a lumber yard. Well, you know those lumberjacks are hungry. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Yeah. I love how he sneaks around and he's he kind of quite like he's got the the arm shrugs like I don't know what's going on, and everyone talks like they're from The Sims. That's what the king he's from The Sims universe. He's some sort of creepy creature from The Sims universe. Now I'm hoping there's mods to put the king in The Sims. There probably is. Um, and apparently if you let people starve to death, they don't die, they just fall over hungry and fall asleep. Because when I'm uh, starving, I, I just fall narcolepsy. asleep. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, being tired is the uh, perfect state to be operating heavy machinery in. Exactly. And cutting down trees. Yeah. Uh, there's really... <laughs> This game is just creepy. Is that, oh no, that's their field of vision. Yes. I was about to say, do they have flashlights in the middle of the day? But no, they, they, they just project a green field in front of them at all times. They do, and apparently if that's all they can see, LASIK surgery really needs to pick up in this, this universe. Because these guys can't see shit. I mean... Like, I wander next to them all the time, and no one notices a giant, big-headed king. And I get a rank C for- like, I- I- I didn't even- I don't care about this game at all. This is just terrible. I, I think you should retry that one. <laughs> Do better. Yes, because you, you really need to be playing this game more. Yes.
That is what my... I think that's what my thesis paper in college is going to be. I'm going to get a doctorate in Sneak King. And that's going to be uh, what I write my paper on is... The, the, the art of delivering hamburgers and then dancing without rhythm. <laughs> There are. I'm kind of disappointed. I did kind of want to unlock a couple extra levels to this because there's. You can wander around a cul-de-sac. Uh, you... What the hell do you have to do get, to get an A on that? I don't know. I I don't know. It tells you what you need to get the next rank up, and I don't pay attention to any of them. I stopped caring because it it seems almost unobtainable. Yeah, I mean that one took you like five seconds. And still a C. So th there's a cul-de-sac that you can unlock? There's a cul-de-sac. I think there's a shopping mall. Oh, you just had to go and fuck it up. Yeah, I, I did, didn't I? Why don't you just go kill yourself? Yep. And because I've been seen, I failed the entire mission. So what the king is going to do now is he's going to go into that giant sawmill and he's just going to throw himself on the blade and... And then get that won't kill him, of course, being a construct. It won't. <sighs> it'll... It'll inconvenience him slightly. Oh, d d d d did I see a creepy guy with a plastic face? Nah. Just my imagination. No, no. Totally didn't. And I love how... Okay, so one person sees me, they don't alert my presence. The other like, what the hell is this guy... He's... And I, I wanted to impose the Falcon Punch sound effect there, but I couldn't find it. Just... He punches an already half-cut-down tree, and then it does yeah. nothing. I do go for the, the Metal Gear Solid sound effect. That just had to happen. Like this one here. Like... I'm right up on this guy. He's at this point he's hitting me with his axe. His axe is on fire. I killed his parents. Shoot me in the head. Shoot me in the head. That that needs to happen, I think. I want to see the Sneak King in Call of Duty, honestly. The hell? <laughs> oh, one of the one of the challenges that I don't show is you can hide in things. So that was me hiding in a giant pile of leaves. I can hide yeah, in the back of one of the trucks. You have to jump out and deliver food while I hidden. Mean, before you jumped into it, I was I could have sworn that was a rock. <laughs> okay, you just glitched through a rock, sure. That's totally acceptable. No, it's it's a pile of leaves, even though you can't really tell because the texturing to this game is just just terrible. Like here, I, I could have gotten inside there and, and hid. But, yeah. I, I figure giving these people enough of a heart attack of sneaking up behind them is one thing. I don't need to jump out of things. And I don't even... I, I figured that I could go inside here and be like, oh, maybe there's more to the level. No, you just hide in the building. <sighs> like, what the hell is up with that? Casting a shadow through the wood, too. Well, that's how we know he can't be a vampire. He casts shadows. I wonder if he has a reflection. Do... Yeah, I, I don't know. See, more things that you can hide in. in. In this game, I would honestly be surprised if anyone had a reflection. All of the... These are all just soulless creatures. They're not really people. Well, I mean, really, I think this is something that they got for free, like, that was a college student project or something. <laughs> because I can't believe that they would actually have spent money on this game. Well, I mean, you know... You, you pay a lot of money for a delicious Whopper. That, you think the money is going back into beef or bread or 
No, it's... It's going into this. <laughs> yes, come by a Whopper or the king will come over and punch you, punch your head off. Because he is just knocking those trees, like, straight off. And they aren't even falling over, they're just kind of shifting two feet to the right. What, what you don't know is the king really is an 8th degree black belt in every martial art known to man. Which, um, means technically he is more powerful than Batman. And considering the fact that he can drive a, a pocket bike, drive a, um, a bumper car, and sneak up on people in broad daylight with immaculate fields of vision, He's just... <laughs> and he can hide in trees. So, I mean... I would rather have the, the Burger King King as a superhero than Batman at this point. Because, I mean... Give the Burger King King a utility belt? Pfft, he's God. Wah, 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 wah. So, this... Little known fact, these are all the parents for the kids from Peanuts, so this is like Charlie Brown's dad. They all work at a sawmill. Wah, 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 wah. Like, what do adults say? I can never understand it. And yeah, I just keep going with this. Like, I could have been done with this for, like, at this point. I'm like, no, no, we're just gonna keep torturing people with this for a half hour. A cross sandwich. Yep. Everyone loves a tasty cross sandwich. And that was just a regular surprise. I don't know. Having a guy dressed in the Burger King King outfit jump behind of a truck and give me food, that would scare the shit out of me. Just just saying. That would be game over for everyone. <laughs> Here, why not have some fries? I'm trying to think. So, Burger King. I can't think of what Burger King's specialty dessert is. Wendy's has a frosty. McDonald's has their apple pies. I honestly can't think of a dessert. At Burger King, that's worthwhile. <laughs> Dairy Queen is Dairy Queen is just desserts. So, Dairy Queen and Burger King should just get married, and have a food uh, monarchy. And then they should just have Ronald McDonald beheaded because obviously he's a poor court, court jester. Kingdom and breeding. <laughs> Are you a royal? I'm a royal. Okay, we can only marry because you can only marry me because royal blood and keep the the bloodline royal. And you know, first rule of genetics is spread the spread the genetics out, man. You don't want inbreeding. And no, that's that's what it is. The, I I, th I think that's what caused um the Burger King to yeah, come into existence. That, that's what I was just gonna say. It's like he is the the end result of of generations of inbreeding. All he can do is surprise people with food. He can't even speak. But he has retard strength. <laughs> <laughs> and the stealth skills to rival that of a ninja. And obviously he gets very excited when he completes these random... Like, who assigns these missions to? Like, why is the king like, Oh, this floating piece of paper. I should listen to what it says. Yeah, I'm kind of sliding around. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. It, it happens every so often. Punch that tree. Punch it. Falcon Pong! Yes. Fuck saws. <laughs> or axes. I mean, you don't need an axe to cut down a tree. You just... 
that's that's what we need to help you know speed up the lumber industry we'll just genetically inbreed a bunch of these Burger King Kings and then clone them and I actually read this mission because I didn't know there was a mission here I'm like oh what does it do en enormous what? omelet sandwiches yep never got that at Burger King well obviously you've never lived you, you need to go right now and fix it. We're going to take a field trip to Burger King and get some tasty giant omelet sandwiches. Uh. Oh my god, close up. See, look at that giant omelet. That's an omelet? It looked, it looked like a burger to me, honestly, but I guess they didn't... They were too cheap to add different models for the sandwiches. <laughs> um, one thing I want to see, I want to see the Burger King King, um, Wendy from Wendy's, the Jack in the Box guy, Ronald McDonald, and the star from Hardee's slash Carl's Jr. I want to see them dance Thriller with the Burger King King in the lead. Just, just imagine that. That would be the most epic thriller ever. This right here is already terrifying. <laughs> Cause this is thriller! But he couldn't sing it because his mouth can't move. Oh yeah, it'd be just like the ending to uh, Spirits Within. Yeah. Oh my god, that's... That's just terrible. This game is just... Just... Awful. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed that... It, you know, it sounded like an interesting concept, but the entire thing is outdoors. I mean, there... There's... There may be some indoor levels. I haven't unlocked them because I don't know what I need to do to unlock them. Because I I play this game I've I played this game for a total of an hour. I did a half hour run just to try it out, get used to it, unlock some of the stuff. I think I I didn't unlock any achievements in this video, but I did in my my initial cuz I think one of the achievements is deliver a sandwich. And I'm like you've got to be get that gamer score. <laughs> Yeah, for those people who've actually seen my gamer score, I so live for uh, achievements and trophies. <laughs> and now this will forever be on your record. It will. Like I can't, I can't delete it either. I've, I've tried. I don't want people to see. Like if I log on to Xbox Live, well, let's compare gamer tags. Oh, he's played sneak. He's King. delivered a sandwich. Well, well done. <laughs> well done indeed. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of embarrassed by it, but I mean I'm never on Xbox Live because I don't have the money to buy gold membership half the time. I think the last time I was on Xbox Live was when I was doing my Let's Play slash review of Harmony of Despair. I think that was the last time I was actually on Xbox Live. Which I think that was a better part of a year ago. At one point, I wanted to get really sadistic and just sit there and wait for them to all fall asleep due to lack of nourishment. But I mean, then I thought about it. What's even creepier? You're the king is wandering around a bunch of unconscious bodies. And I kept thinking, all has gone according to that. You are now thinking about what Zarbon did to you while you were unconscious. <laughs> Have fun with that. Another thing that plagues this game is random slowdown. Like if you get too many actual people on screen, the game kind of slowed to a crawl at one point during my testing. I'm like, that's just 
I want I want to know how much money went into this game because that was way too much. What whatever the the in dollar amount, it was way too much. Like the uh, food tie-in games of yesteryear, like the uh, Captain Crunch one. See, I don't even remember the Captain Crunch one. I remember the Chex one, that was based off of Doom. Yeah, Chex Quest. Yeah, and the only reason why I remember that is because I actually watched an LP of it. <laughs> like, how can you make this game entertaining? And they actually did make the game entertaining. I was, I was quite surprised. It was a uh, Kikoskia. And. Right. At first, I'm like, no, there's there's no way. See, he, this guy, this guy's one of the only people with a decent field of vision. It's only like three feet in front of him, but it actually has, he has peripheral vision. Clearly dealing with a higher being here. <laughs> yeah. He, he is the only... Everyone else has tunnel vision. Like, I... And, like, I sneak up on her. That's not a good idea. She's got an axe. You don't sneak up on people with axes. That just... It's like, it's like giving a surprise birthday party to your 65-year-old uh, grandpa. <laughs> well, you got done and fucked up again. And again. At this point, I didn't care. I'm like, okay, they've seen me. I don't care. It is... What the fuck is that thing? Do you see that? <laughs> am, am I tripping out on shrooms, or is, is that really in front of me? And what's scary is he does the dance and then gives the food. I'd be like, if, if he jumped out and started dancing, I guarantee you I'd kick him in the crotch. Like, go for the nuts. Wow. If he doesn't have nuts, just run, because obviously you can't... You're not going to take it down in one hit. Unless you're armed. That, that's the thing, though. He'd start doing the dance, you hit him in the face with your axe, and the axe would just kind of get stuck in his face. You've got an axe, You've got an axe in your face? No. Um, anyway. Well, part of it is, I keep thinking of, like, traditional Final Fantasy battles in this. I'm like, he sneaks up on you, you've got an axe, oh my god, it's a preemptive strike, and the king gets the first hit. And then you've got to wait for your ATB bar to fill up and before you can hit him in the face with the axe. And then, by that point in time, he's already raped you because he's probably the equivalent of a Tonberry and he just knifes you in the throat and then sticks a sandwich on your corpse. Better use that one command again on this one, Cloud. What, you want to stay and fight? Go ahead, oh. it's your funeral. <laughs> nice knowing you. And like that, he, he sees me coming out of the door. It's like, ah, oh, damn it! He opened a door, and I there I was. Oh, he turned around, and there I was. I'm, like, I'm just gonna let you all. I guess you won't be giving that one a sandwich. Yeah, I'm not gonna be giving these. It's just the whole premise of this. I'm gonna sneak up behind you when you're hungry. And I just, I have some sort of telepathic knowledge of when you're hungry. Like, I've just got food empathy. I know when you're all starving. Like that! I should have been seen then. But I just, I guess I hit the button fast enough and was like, fuck you, I win. That counts as a surprise, bitch. Or maybe, like, right when I'm outside of their field of vision, maybe I should throw the food at them. I think that would work well. Chris Sandwich to the face! Get him. Get him before he goes into the door! I close the door on <laughs> I close the door. You ain't going nowhere until you eat my delicious sandwich. That didn't sound like... <laughs> and see, if they get the, the exclamation point over their heads to where they, they notice you, but before they see you, the food goes away. So instantly, the adrenaline rush takes away the hunger. 
Like, oh my god, I think I saw something. I'm not hungry anymore. Their appetite has been sated. It's fear. <laughs> the fear of a giant-headed king. And you've got to wonder, where is his kingdom? Like, is the sawmill his kingdom? Are these his subjects? Well, we saw it earlier. We were uh, driving through it. Oh yeah, we, we drove through it on, on, on Pocket Bike Racer. So, I mean... We know what his courtyard looks like. Obviously, it was... He had no sense of uh, design because he put a racetrack in the middle of it with colored cones everywhere. Your, your, your landscape designer sucks, dude. You know, th th this is all just part of the court etiquette. You, all, you have to race around the kingdom on pocket bikes, driving through cones, and you have to act surprised when the king comes up to you with anger. So what you're saying is the king is running his, his kingdom like North Korea, basically, and you have to act surprised. <laughs> And the king forces you into races. <laughs> and let's not forget the bumper cars. That's... He forces you to get into... And he pushes you out of the ring in bumper cars. And forces you to play giant air hockey. I really think this king is, is drunk with power. And I'm honestly waiting for the assassination to happen. Like, Marie Antoinette, let them eat cake. You are just... You're a guillotine away from... <laughs> like, I, I try seeing how long I can stalk her. Because that's not... <laughs> like, anything in this game isn't? Like, this whole game is just based on... Let's ha see how creepy we can make this. First of all, we're going to use the king. I want to know what... So, Burger King comes to this game studio and is like, Hey, we want you to make games for us. And we're like, okay, sure. Let's pitch the ideas. How about we have a racing game where they ride on many motorcycles and they look like they're trying to expose themselves to small children. Next, let's have bumper cars to the death. And last but not least, and, and here's the good one, let's have your mascot... Sneak around, stalking people as he realizes that they get hungry, pulls sandwiches out of nowhere to feed them. And I want to be the Burger King executive who's like, yeah, let's go with it. Run with those. The, I love those ideas. Let's just go with it. Like that. I, I, he saw me, but I gave him, I, I don't know what happened there. And you know me, when I glitch out a game, that's pretty much when I call it quits. And now, because I've, I've glitched out, we keep hearing that noise. This has been pretty terrible, and I feel sorry for anyone that has watched this. I do. I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that I used this as a, a subscriber special, but I figured, you know, I hit 500 subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing and all that. But I'm going to, I'm going to punish you all <laughs> at the same time. I'm going to punish you with a terrible game. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much sneaking. We're pretty much done with this one. So um, I've got nothing else to go out on this other than please don't buy or watch these terrible games. <laughs> if you buy them, it gives it gives money to them to where they make more terrible games. So just it's in the cycle now, kids. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, that's about it. And that's it.